Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be going over my five favorite things that I love about my Toyota 86. So let's find out what that is. Starting off with number one, I absolutely love the details on this car. So things like in the headlights, it actually has the 86 logo. That's not actually in the lens, but in the headlight itself. And then also the front grille has its own 86 logo, which is kind of like a V shape but it's pretty cool to see this design everywhere. And also on the interior, the suede and the steering wheel has the 86 logo, which I think is pretty cool the way they implement it. You know, they could have just put a badge on it, but they put it into the suede or they put it into the headlight, which is a pretty cool detail that they add to the car. And now number two, I absolutely love the visibility on this car. So even though it's a small car, you would think that it's really not gonna have good visibility, but it's really impressive for what it is. So when I'm driving the car, I don't feel like I'm lacking any visibility. I feel like I'm driving just a regular car. And especially since it's low, you can see everything that's on the ground really well. And overall, for being a sports car, I think the visibility is just great. This car is brand new, but it feels like it's a car from the 90s. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm saying this is a good thing because you can't really buy a Mark IV Supra or an RX-7 brand new anymore. We all want those cars, but we can't really get them. So we have cars like the 86. It's a brand new car you can get, but it has the same driving characteristics and it's very similar feel. And what I mean by that is it's a raw driving feeling. So a lot of the new cars have technology in them that kind of limits the actual user engagement. But you know, for being brand new car and having a similar feel, I think it's awesome because you get a brand new platform to work with that you don't really have to restore. And it's just a great car to work with from the start. Now, number four, the look. Now, looks can be subjective, but I think the car looks amazing. And you have to think, this car cost around the same brand new as a Toyota Camry, which is pretty cool that you can get a car like this, which in my opinion looks a lot like a Porsche Cayman. You know, you could still see kind of some similar design cues. So, you know, the fact that you can get a car that looks more expensive than it is for that price, I think it's pretty impressive, which really makes me like the car a lot more. And now the final one, the community of the car. So what I mean by this is the people, the companies, the aftermarket support, everything that kind of goes along with a car after you buy it is really impressive. So there are a lot of companies that make parts for this car. And if there's a part for the car that you wanna get, chances are there's five or more companies that already make the part, which is pretty cool. So, I mean, for example, headlights, you can literally get like 10, 20 different headlights for this car all from different companies. So when you're modifying your car, it really gives it a cool, unique feeling that this is your own car because there's so many parts that you can get and you can really build it exactly how you want. Now this can be looked as a bad thing as if you wanna get a part for the car since so many people have this car, it's already been done most likely, but I think it's awesome still that you can do a ton of parts. And that's a good thing in my opinion, because if someone's already done this mod, then you can actually ask them and talk to them about it so you can get kind of prior experience with it before you actually install it on your own car, which is pretty cool. So if you enjoyed the video and wanna see more just like it, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe because I'll definitely be doing a lot more stuff to my 86 in the future. We'll see you on the next one.